Hey love, it's TJ and I help people expand their minds so that they can live in, in their purpose, follow their path for a life of happiness and abundance and fulfillment and all of that good stuff. I also talk about other things on this channel like crystals and things and whatnot. Uh, uh, you'll come to find out that everything I talk about is interrelated into you elevating into who you truly are and um i don't know standing in your truth and your power hey yeah so today i wanted to talk about what is this thing with living in the past living in the past <sighs> how many of us do that a lot of people do that i've done it i've gotten so much better <laughs> and i noticed that i my life has transformed because i have learned to let go of the past the, the the thing is is when you live in the past you are like a hamster on a hamster wheel you are not living and experiencing and fully fully diving into the here and now so if you want to change anything about your life, your circumstance, situation, you're not going to be able to do it expeditiously when you're constantly reliving the past. So every time you go, you know, in the back in the days of old and specifically things that aren't aren't necessarily pleasant. I'm not talking about reminiscing a, a wonderful thought or some fun you had years ago or thinking about a loved one. Um, that is no longer here with us in a, a really a great way, like, you know, having fond memories, but more about the negativity, the things that we have perceived in our lives as negative, the things that have given us bad experiences in our lives. A lot of times, and, you know, I know friends and family, they will go back and they will rejudge it. And then you're like, yes, I was there. I remember. And it is human nature because as humans, we are conditioned to, to be negative for some reason. That's just how it is. I think it's part of our egos. Our egos are here to protect us and keep us in a box. And that's exactly what it does. If we don't wake up, if we just sit there and just allow it, we'll willingly stay in that box and we'll never realize our full potential. Many of us have we 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 have a feeling of that there is more you know we know that we're destined for greater whatever greater looks like for the individual so when you're living in the past it is really hard for you to like propel forward uh in a in an easy fashion and so i just want to encourage you people everyone anyone who's uh watching and if you feel like anybody that you know and love needs to hear this please share the video with them i want to encourage you to let it go things of the past are no longer they don't serve they did what they were meant to do at that time we were supposed to either learn from it or and grow from it or you know or just whatever make our decisions on how we were going to move moving forward um but we weren't meant to dwell dwelling let me give you another tidbit when you dwell on those things those negative things in the past that happened to you you are literally your body doesn't know the difference you are literally going through that same emotion and thought pattern that you went through back then your body on a molecular level is going through all of that all over again so if you experienced any stress heartache any type of pain your body whether you realize it or not is reliving that over and over and over again and a lot of people don't know that these types of things are what causes um, disease dis-ease in the body you know, um, you have just the different uh, hormones that start to fire off that are not conducive to healthy living, to your well-being. So what I would suggest, and I am a happiness and abundance coach, to name a few, I would suggest to focus on doing things and thinking about things and um, 
inviting things into your life that make you feel good that make you happy because this is about self-care and when you have the self-care when you're feeling good you have more clarity about what it is you want to do moving forward um you and following your path your life purpose your life path same thing following your passions and all of that it makes it easier it's more fun and uh, like I said, you have more clarity in exactly which way you want to move. And you might have a lot of ideas, like you get more creative um, and you just have more of a zest for life. You're more excited. You know, you don't have to be like me. I, I, I like to say yay a lot. I'm one of those people. I feel like I'm still a little girl. I think in a past life, I may have been part of a circus or a carnival, <laughs> or I might have been a gypsy. I don't know, but a lot of those types of things resonate <laughs> resonate with me. And so I'm like, yay, I'm always excited. But if you are someone who is just a little more like laid back and refined, your excitement looks different as long as you have it is what's important. So, you know, and I'll, I'll be coming in doing the sporadic, um, I wouldn't say sporadic, periodic, let's say, videos because, you know, I just had this thought and I felt like it was important for me to pop on because of the conversations that I have. And I listen to people just rejudge the past and um, it, it just doesn't serve. And I know that these people, like many of us, have dreams and goals that they want to accomplish. And a lot of times they're not sure, well, why is it not happening for me? There are so many factors that may come into play. But the main factor is, is if you're not feeling good and you're not, you know, encouraging your own happiness and you're living in the past and you don't have room for anything good from the future to come to you. You don't have room for the present, for the here and now. OK, and then to top it all off, you're not really doing your body, your well-being, your physical health, any justice. I hope this helped you pass the video on if it did. And um, if you haven't done so already, like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next video, live simply and be kind.